This is my driver swing in crazy detail. We've not gone crazy. Well, we maybe have because we've not been playing golf, but we're getting back there. Next week, we're back out on the golf course. I'm gonna tell you today a great simple way we can really start to control our golf club in the downswing. And this ties into shallowing the club. So what do most people want to do? Okay, so with driver especially, we want to feel as though the golf swing works shallower, so the golf club works in this direction around the body, not steep and over. We also want to feel like we maintain that club face to be nice and square, so it strengthens to allow us to hit that draw, or that straighter shot, or less of a slice. Now, many people find it easy to finally get the club shallowing, or easier, but to understand how we shallow the club and strengthen the face, this is the golden nugget moment. We're gonna speak about this in crazy detail today. We're gonna to speak about it off the golf ball, so one-handed, and we're then gonna say how do we apply that to the driver and what motions we need to make. So let's firstly start off, we come to the face on perspective and, and talk about how we want to set up with driver. And I actually think it's just so, so important. Get some alignment sticks down. Use these alignment sticks to really show you how you're setting up to the golf ball. It's amazing how many people come to me and I'm like, we need to move the ball a bit further forward. And they move it forward an inch and it feels like a mile. So we need to make sure we've got a great setup. So I'm gonna talk you through briefly here how I do this. So I always start off with the ball to target line and then I've got my ball position line at a 90 degree angle to that. I want you to start off to begin with, feet close together with this alignment stick right in the middle of them. Pointing the left toe out. So roughly in the middle of this alignment stick here. Move the right foot to roughly around shoulder width apart. Now, if you're left-handed, we'll do this the opposite. We would start here, move the right foot, and the left foot away. Okay, left foot, right foot away. So we now know every single time I've got that ball position in a perfect position. I want you to take your hold of the club, I want you to lower it to the ground, and I want you now to tilt forwards into golf posture. Now, keeping in golf posture, can I feel as though I raise my club? to match my zip line. I want you now just to tilt so that butt of the club or my zip line points into my lead heel. So watch, just a little bit of a movement. Bring it up, tilt it in, bring it back down. Now I'm in a great position. My shoulders are matching my knees, my hips and my feet. And I've got this mishmash with the ball going forwards and this is really gonna help me hit this ball in the up. Now the reason why I use that routine is because it allows me to work it through the same on the golf course. I stand, I go through that routine, I'm now not questioning myself because the little devil on our shoulder, which we all know we all have, is like, oh, it's not right that, not right that. Well, I can go, boom, boom, boom. Three steps, I'm in the correct position. So on the golf course, I would be in. Step one. Step two. Step three. Boom, and you can even make it go a little bit flowing faster than that. This is a great foolproof routine. Okay, so let's talk about downswing now. So let's fly down to the down the line perspective. I feel like I've got my, like, my goodie bag of toys here. Like, I know it's torture for us not being able to go on the golf course. Okay, so before we get into this, guys, welcome back to the channel if you're brand new to the channel. And I really would appreciate it if you've not already joined this team. Hit that big red subscribe button. I really would appreciate that. Okay, so. Next week, if you're from England, you know we can get back out on the golf course. One, we've got to hope the weather's good. Two, we've got to hope they don't change their decision for us. Where are you going to play? What's the first golf course you're going to go back to play? Let me know, comment down below. Okay, so I've now got a spoon here. Now, the reason why I've chosen this one, something like this is perfect with a nice flat edge. Ultimately, to begin with, this area of the spoon is gonna be my club face. So, where we wanna put our food if we were gonna eat it with it. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna try and feel is here, get a nice grip as we would our driver. We swing to the top. Can we feel as though on the downswing, we get the keeping the food on behind us, and then we wanna tip it off in front of us. We don't wanna throw it all the way over this way. So we don't want to throw it over. We vice versa don't want to just tip it behind us. We want to feel as though we keep the food on for as long as possible. So that would be working this way. That would be strengthening it and throwing it in front of our right foot to move it through. So to the top, shallow it, 
strengthen it, move it. So I would always encourage you to do this one-handed to begin with. Now, I know I said I'm going to crazy detail, so we are gonna go a little bit further into the body movement now before we get into this bit. Okay, so in the downswing, we need two functions to happen. We need a little bit of right bend, which is this motion, and we need our left pocket feeling like it's being pulled around us. So we need this and left pocket around. So that would look very much like this in the downswing. Now, us creating good body movement will actually complement how we want to swing the golf club. If we stand up, that's going to encourage us to throw the golf club over the top. So, so we're feeling right bend and left pocket. So doing this one-handed, I really like this now, to the top, shower the club, right bend and left pocket, throw it out in front of you, throw it to target. Oof. So our elbow and our body is sort of making this motion this motion, this motion, to the top, this motion. Bringing in both hands now, swing to the top, this motion, and through. So the key talking points are, again, right bend and left pocket, keep the food on, tip it in front of us, through. So what I'm trying to say here is, to break those elements down, good body movement, Shallow in the club, keeping the food on. Tip the food on out in front of us. This keeps it on for as long as possible. This is a shallow in the club, a strength in the face. Those key elements are what a lot of golfers find hard to do. So, don't hit yourself in the head. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Lost me train of thought entirely. To the final part of this video. How do we use this spoon to bring it into our golf game? So again, the reason why I like this is small and we can fit it in here. Okay, so essentially we are making the same motion now as we did just before. So grip the spoon, grip the golf club, we swing it to the top, keep the food on, tip it out in front of us. Now even though the spoon's at this end, the same motion applies. For us to keep the food on, we have to shower the club, go tip it in front of us, we've got to strengthen the face, move it through. So to the top, shower the club, strengthen the face, boom, into impact. These are the essential elements we're looking to be faster with the driver, more efficient with the driver, and that is how we hit those drives longer, straighter, and more often. And the key thing is there, the more often aspect. We all know we can hit good drives, but it's allowing ourselves to do it more often is the thing that we wanna really enjoy. So, I would feel this on the golf course, go through my routine, boom, 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 up, tilt, a waggle of feeling this, keep the food on, tilt it in front of us, and we can hit the shot away. I was really feeling that whole motion. Feel it slow to begin with, then ramp that speed up. It's a great place to learn those key essential moves. Thank you so much for joining me. Do hope you enjoyed this video. If you've not already, turn that bell on and join this team.